buffalo chicken rice. This is chicken that's been cut. It's white meat chicken. You could use thighs. It's boneless. I'm going to get it right in the pan. And um, it's been cut into half inch cubes. Uh, so it will cook faster, you know, and I'm going to season it right as it gets in there. You know, I discovered when I did this that actually chicken tenders are a good choice for this because they're already pretty oh, thin. Oh, yeah, that So is they take less choice. time to cut up. Yeah. So let me get this cooking. Uh, let me just stir it up a bit. We're going to cook it for about three to four minutes, and then everything else is going to go in and it's going to finish. Um, so let me tell you, the original buffalo chicken, as everybody knows, is deep fried chicken wings. And they have been uh, tossed with a sauce of hot sauce. And butter. Now, I started with a lot of butter in there. So this is very buttery. And then as the chicken cooks, I'm just going to go ahead and add the hot sauce now. We add the hot sauce. And um, in the original recipe, so the wings get deep fried, which is a big pain to do. You know, you really prefer a restaurant to do it for you. And then we're going to add in, in just a minute. Hang on. Let me get my... Plus, that's dark meat chicken with skin versus white meat chicken. Right, right. So, right. Well, you could use dark meat. Actually, I just used up my hot sauce in that one. So we're just going to be liberal and, and do some hot sauce. And this is the already finished chicken. Um, and you add as much as you want. The dark meat gives you more flavor. Um, and so that's fine. You can use boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Okay, next ingredient is cooked rice. And I cook it the cheating way, the pasta way. Oop, this is drained for a second. <laughs> This always happens to me, sort of fun moments. It reminds me of cooking live when everything went wrong. There we go. That's the fun part because everybody's life is like that, don't you think? Oh, my God. Well, hey, listen, as we know, Julia Child made millions of mistakes on TV and then reminded everybody that they were alone in the kitchen. And the fact of the matter <laughs> is, yes, you are alone in the kitchen, so you can make mistakes and nobody will know. Um, so anyway, right. I put in, I saved, I cooked the rice like pasta. So it's six cups of liquid to one cup of rice, and you cook it till it's d basically done. And then you combine this whole thing, and you add the blue cheese right to it. So we got every part of buffalo chicken, uh, but we traded the crunch of the fried wings for the creaminess of the rice and the cooking liquid. I so love it. So now I would this still is add melt. garlic regardless, but whatever. Well, <laughs> I, know, I, was staying to, I was staying to five ingredients, and actually I'm about to cheat and add an optional when I um, played it up. But, Cheat uh, away, yeah. my friend. Cheat away. <laughs> yes. So this is so, so simple. The only thing you really have, you could even buy the uh, crumbled cheese. You don't have to get the fancy stuff because it sort of gets lost in here with all the hot sauce. Um, by the way, if you hate blue cheese, no problema. You can just use a nice melting cheese. You could use sharp cheddar. You could use you know, your favorite Italian soft cheese. So I'm going to call this basically done. This is so good. The husband just died over it, I have to say. Um, it, and it, and it, it was even good the next day. He reheated it with a little extra liquid. It, uh, it was a home run. I'm telling you, I'm going to re this is going to become part of the lineup again. This goes way there back to There you go. I love it. I love it. Okay, here's the cheating ingredient, the optional. you got to have the celery. There you go. Nice. It even oh, looks pretty. I love 